Well, do you know your Bible? In the book of Joshua chapter 1, the Bible says, Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth, but be careful to meditate on it day and night so that you will be able to do everything that is written in it. You know, it's impossible to do what the Bible says if you don't know what the Bible says. Many people who claim to be Christians, they, they are ignorant when it comes to Bible knowledge. Many people may have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or even a doctorate degree, but when it comes to Bible knowledge, they're on a kindergarten level. Oh, friends, we need to know our Bible. We need to study our Bible. Consider Sam, who went before the ordination council to be set apart for the gospel ministry. The ordaining council began their questioning by saying, Sam, which part of the New Testament do you like best? Sam thought for a moment and said, well, I, I like the New Testament best, sir. That's what I like. But then they said, well, what book in the New Testament do you like? Well, well, I think I like the, the book of parables, sir. They went one step further and said, well, would you kindly translate or recite one of those parables for us? Well, poor Sam was up against it. But thinking that they may not know any more about their Bible than he did, he decided to give it a shot. And this is what he said. Once upon a time, a man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among thieves, and the thorns grew up and choked that man. And he went on, and he didn't have no money, and he met the queen of Sheba. And she gave that man a thousand talents of gold. And when he was driving along under a big tree, his hair got caught in a limb and left him hanging there. And he hung there for many days and many nights, and the ravens brought him food to eat and water to drink. And one night as he was hanging there asleep, his wife Delilah came along and cut his hair off. And he dropped to the ground, and it began to rain. And it rained for forty days and forty nights. And he hid himself in a cave. And the man went down to Jerusalem, and there he seen Queen Jezebel sitting high up in a window. And when, he saw, and when she saw him, she laughed at him, and he said, Throw her down from there. And they threw her down seventy times, seventy times. And the fragments they picked up were twelve baskets full. Now whose wife will she be in the day of the judgment? Well, the council looked at one another, and they didn't know what to say, and no one dared question the man, so he passed his ordination. So I ask you again, how well do you know your Bible? Listen closely to Joshua 1.8. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Be careful to meditate on it day and night so that you can do what is written in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful. I want to encourage you to make Bible study a discipline in your life so you can know the Bible and you can do the Bible. I once heard someone say, the problem I have with the Bible is not the things that I don't understand. The biggest problem I have is doing the things that I do understand. So let's take one step at a time, know the Bible, learn the Bible, and do what it says. And that, my friends, is an encouraging word.